Hey, what's up everybody? Elric here on the Tech and Amar YouTube channel trying to beat the freaking heat. We just got back from meeting at NVIDIA in downtown LA and dude, it was 110 degrees outside. We stood in the line at Pink's to get a hot dog and I swore to God, by the end of it, I felt like I was the fucking hot dog. They should just slap my ass in a bun, threw chili on me and serve me up, man, because believe me, I was hot and sweaty. But anyways, that's not why we're here today. Today we're gonna bring you guys an unboxing and first look at a new case from people over at Silverstone. This is their RL01 case. Now, this thing's coming to the market at about $80, so it's very affordable and should have some pretty cool features. So that said, let's dig in and let's just see what this case is all about. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to start off showing you the box because it's an unboxing, so you might as well see the damn box, right? So here it is. This is one of their Redline Series cases, the RL01. Nothing much on the front of the box, but as we spin the box around, you can see that all the features are actually listed. You can see them all here, the different types of fans, everything that's in the case is pretty much listed right here. We're going to actually delve into it, but anyways, you guys can just see this stuff right here to read about it. Now, when you guys are doing the comments, please don't tell me why didn't I build a damn system edit. This is the unboxing and first look. So we're just gonna show you it, talk about some of the features, and that's about it. So here's my little trusty knife. Yep, it's a little tiny blade, very small. Maybe too small for this job, I don't know. But we'll go ahead and uh, we'll do some incisions here. I take my knife. I'm gonna do a reverse slice. I'm gonna take a slice here on the side. That's right. Take another slice over here. Like a scurvy pirate on books, this thing rides. All right, set my knife off to the side and try to uh, cut my couch. Ah! Open it up. Okay, I'm gonna flip to the front real quick. You guys can see the little snowflake logo, all prevalent there in the case. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the table. Flip it around. Now. If you guys are looking for some of the specifications, the material is high strength plastic and mesh front panel. It uses micro ATX, standard ATX motherboards. It's got three 5.25 drive bays, one 3.5, and finally an internal bay that can be either a 3.5 or a 5.25. Now, as far as the system fans, it comes with one front 120 millimeter red intake fan, 120 millimeter fan slots in the rear. There are two top mounted 120 millimeter fans with an option for another one and the bottom has one 120 millimeter fan. Has seven expansion slots and some USB 3.0 on top. So with that all said with it, let's actually look at the damn thing. Find the front of it, go ahead and just pop it. Take this off. Go ahead and just start taking it all out. All right, so we're getting there one piece at a time. Let me get this stuff all out of here, throw it at the cameraman. Whoa. All right, sorry cameraman, dude. All right, so let's start off, why not on the top, okay? Now, it says that it came with two 120 millimeter fans. I don't see any fans on the top of this case whatsoever, so they're obviously an optional thing they're not there. But there's space for two of them. Flip around the front. Got a little tape here protecting these things. I don't know why they're on there. Go ahead and just remove that piece of tape. USB 3.0, headphone mic, one, two, three, 5.25 bays, the internal, down here, got some other stuff. Let's see if there are, these are bays. Nope, they're not. And this is the on button here, a little flower. Nice little flowered little thing there. Your reset button is actually in a weird fucking location, right here. This is your reset, I think. It's just a weird, weird location for a reset button. It's actually kind of weird. Hard to push into. I'm not liking this design. You can't even push it with your finger. I'm not liking that. You guys aren't going to like that either. That part of the design actually sucks. I'm sorry, Silverstone. I like you guys, but this sucks. I can't even push that with my normal finger. So that's the front of the case. So let's spin it around. Let's take a look at the bottom. Let's see what the bottom has to offer. On the bottom, you can see you have removable mesh right here. Go ahead and just pop this up, slides out. You can clean this off if you need to, inside of a fountain or anything else if you need to, no problemo. Once again, room for two 120 millimeter fans, and it comes with none. That's why I see no fans in here as of yet. One, two, three, four little rubber feet. Pretty easy. They pop on and off, so those aren't too bad. So let's go ahead and remove the front panel now. Now, I can't totally off remove the front panel, so I tried to guys, let me bring it over here so you guys can see it. 
but there are just too many wires connected for me to remove it. Everything's wired up. So even though the front panel gets removed, you can like take one of these drive bays out, like so. Let me just pop the case front back on. It's really not that big of a deal. Get it up here. Okay, spinning around. You can see we have one side window on the side. It's got plastic both front and back. Let's go to the thumb screws. On the back, let me move it around here for you folks. On the back, you can see we have four thumb screws. We have two holes in case you want to use liquid cooling. They're pretty small, so I don't think they're going to work with any of the half inch stuff, but some of the smaller stuff would probably be okay. I've had no problem getting these off, by the way. No problem removing the side panel. So let's take a look at that. Here's a side panel. We'll go ahead and just put that off to the side. Let's take a look now at the internals of the case. All your drive bays are lockable right here. All these are removable right here. These are what your drives in. You put your drives in and you use these little things. You put them back in here and you clip it and away you go. So inside right here, we have all the case accessories. I'll go ahead and just remove those out of there. These little twist tie there. Remove them out. Got all kinds of stuff in here, including the user's manual. I'll go ahead and pull that out real quick just for you guys to see. Try not to rip the bag to shreds. Sometimes easier said than done. But uh, this is just a really small piece of paperwork, folks. So not much here whatsoever. Small piece of paperwork. The rest of your system parts. Another filter screen. You've got your USB 3.0 connections. All the rest of your connections for the front, all right here for your motherboard. Now, there's no removable motherboard tray. There is plenty of room though on the other side to get to your CPU. So let's get to that part too as we finish this up. Also in the back here, you can see there's also room again for another fan. Your power supply mounts down here. I stated earlier, you have water cooling accessories here and seven slot bays for your video cards. So. You know, for a mid-tower case, it looks like it's got, you know, quite a lot of room. Cable management on this is going to be pretty nil. Let me flip this around and show you guys. Cable management in this case, there's no room to get your hands back behind here. So only the flat type cables will even be able to lay in there whatsoever. So there's not a lot of cable management. Plenty of room, though, for your CPU access. So that's pretty much it, man. One fan in the front is all that comes with it. So you get a single 120 millimeter fan. That's all that comes stock. And that's it, guys. I mean, this is the Silverstone RL01 coming to the market at $80. Look for the full review and slideshow coming soon.